Today, let's learn about static method reference in Java. Here, we have a class employee containing two fields ID and name. Then we have a parameter constructor, getter methods and a two string method. Then we have a my comparator class. Now it contains a static method compare by name. It will accept two employees and then sort them on the basis of their name. Then besides this, we are having a demo class which will fetch the list of employees by invoking the method populate employees. And then we are printing the employees. So on executing, we can see that this output is completely random. It's neither sorted by ID nor it is sorted by name. So let's try to sort it on the basis of name. But for this, we need to take help of my comparator. So what we can do is we will do something like this collections and then I will be mentioning here sort. Then I need to do it on this list. So let me provide it something like this. And the next thing which I need to provide is the new comparator because I need to provide some implementation for this comparator. So let me say something like this and here let me do this curly braces. Now here it will say that okay you need to implement the unimplemented methods. So no worries let's click on it and it is going to look like this. Now let's remove this extra line and what I can do is I will simply take help of my comparator here because we know that this my comparator can compare to employees. So let's do something like this and here let me put a semicolon. I guess it's not clearly visible to you. So let me bring it to the next line so that it looks something like this. Now in executing, we can see that it is able to sort the employees on the basis of their name. So on ID, this is still random because we are just sorting by name. Now we are very clear that in this comparator, we are overriding only the compare method. So why do we need to write it completely and make it an anonymous inner class? We can convert it to a lambda expression. So let me make it something like this. Now this is my argument and after the words is my body. Between them, what I can do is I can put an arrow symbol and then it becomes a lambda expression. But as you know, we can still make it shorter because the body contains only one line. So we don't need this. Also, we don't need something like this and it is going to look like this. Another thing which we can do is that we are very clear it is going to accept employee only. So let's remove this also and here also let's remove this. So again, this is looking fine on executing. It is still working. But now the interesting thing come since we are very clear that we are accepting only O1 and O2 which are my employees and then I'm passing them to my method as it is without doing any kind of modification or anything else. So what I will do is I will remove this argument part completely and I will remove it from here also completely. Then between my class name and my method name because here I'm invoking it with the help of static reference. So I will just put a double column here and then this is known as static method reference in Java. On executing, you see it is still working fine. Do like the video if you find you learned something new today. Thanks.